I'm Vinu Keller. Welcome to Vinu Inspires. It's time to give your children a childhood they won't have to heal from. Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom with Vinu Keller. I wanted to talk today about morning routines. So this might be something more for parents that have younger children, but maybe not. Maybe you have older kids and morning routines still become one of the biggest challenges every day. Now, out of my six kids, I have raised four of them because two of them are my stepdaughters. So out of the four that I've raised, morning routines and evening routines have probably got to be the most stressful that I've encountered thus far in parenting. So if you're with me and you understand this, please put in the comment, yes. Maybe you want to put a hell yes. <laughs> and let me tell you what I did to resolve this. I was able to figure out what it is that they needed. Number one, is I gave anticipatory guidance. So I would tell them the night before. So what is tomorrow gonna look like? What are we gonna do first? I would ask them, how do you want me to wake you up? My, my daughter likes me to, you know, stroke her hair, you know, really softly and sing to her. I don't know why she likes me to sing to her because I definitely don't have that singing voice. But nevertheless, she enjoys it. So that's how I wake her up. And she does not want me opening her curtains right away. My son wants me to just kind of get in bed and snuggle with him and talk to him, rub his back. So they both have their own way they like me to wake them up. And then we have a system that they get up, they brush their teeth, they get ready, they go downstairs, they eat breakfast, they take their vitamins and stuff, they put their lunchbox in their bag, and then they're ready to go. When we create this routine and we are supporting it with praise and excitement, our mornings go so much better. And I even incorporated when I make their lunch, I put a note in their, in their lunchbox. So they're always constantly saying, mom, did you put my note in? And I'm like, yes, I did. Or wait, nope, I didn't. I have to run back upstairs and to my office and get them a note to put a note in. But nevertheless, this has always worked. Even with my older boys, my two boys that are much older, they're in their um, 20s now, you know, waking them up was different. I had my oldest son, he was easy to wake up. It was just, you know, Cameron, it's time to get up. And he would jump out of bed. My other son, not so much. Like he would literally fall asleep sitting up when I woke him up in the morning. So, you know, again, we had to find different routines for them to get them up and get our morning going. And I always tell my kids, like, I want my kids to go to school feeling happy. I want their day to start off happy. So on the way to school, when I drop them off, I always ask them, what is your day going to look like? And they'll say good or exciting or great. When they were little, they would tell me like little characters, like it's going to be a Ninja Turtle day or whatever. And I would always say, well, what would that look like to you? If you're going to have a great day, what does a great day look like to you? And then they would explain it to me. So I'm already, again, giving that anticipatory guidance of what they should make their day look like. What is their day going to start out with? How are we going to make it happy? If they're not having a great morning, how are we going to turn that around? My kids, I would say, are very high-spirited kids. You know, they're very headstrong. They want to be in charge. They want that certainty. And so I set them up every morning with a way to win and have that, that they are in control of their emotions. They're in control of the kind of day that they're going to have. And just as an added bonus, now that my kids are getting older, I let them know that if they get done, that I could use some help. And they love being helpers because when they're helpers, they feel like they're a part of something. It gives them back that worth. It lets them know that they matter. And so sometimes they strive for that. And they're like, mom, I took care of the dogs for you. And then I just praise them and we celebrate that. And it makes them feel even more empowered. So what happens tomorrow? they're going to do it again. So that's my Wednesday wisdom tip. So if you want to have a better morning, create a routine, give them that anticipatory guidance, and sometimes even challenge them. You know, you might even want to challenge them. Like, I bet you that by the time I count to 20, you can't be ready. Watch how fast they get ready. You just make it fun. How can you make it even more fun? 
Thank you again for tuning in and I will see you next Wednesday.